Welcome back to my channel, Lux Babes. This is the part two series for the versatile U part wig. I made my own versatile wig, y'all. Look at all those styles. If you haven't already, make sure you go watch part one. This is where I show you how I lay the tracks and get a little bit into like blow drying the texture of the hair and things of that nature. But without further ado, let's hop on into the styling portion. Here I am. So I wand curled this hair. I used a babyless titanium pro wand curler. This was a gift from my friend. Shout out to her. Uh, I believe it's a one inch. Yeah, it's giving very much one inch. So you want to take thicker sections. That's how you'll get those big, fat, juicy curls. But also, the type of hair you use is also important. Straight hair, you probably won't get this look. You want to use a curly texture hair. This is Burmese Curly. You may want to purchase this vendor on my site. You may not. You may want to buy you some deep wave hair and do it that way. Either way, make sure that the hair has a curly base. As you can see, I'm saturating the hair with the got to be spray. And when I'm wrapping around, I'm also twisting so that the curl becomes spiral. You don't want to put the hair around the wall curler flat because that would just be so ugly. Yeah. When I wand curled the hair, I did make sure I went around the hair in only one direction. I didn't like... Uh, I made sure that the direction that I used on the left side was the same that I used on the right side. Just because they're wand curls. If these were any other type of curls, I would have did it differently. So, um, in part one, I did explain that I made this wig a little too snug. By a little too snug, I mean a little too small. So, I did take two needles. I took one to the left took one to the right and met them both around like my ear area and then figured some out in the back and made it work. So yeah, that's where we are. As you can see, I'm at that ear area, and I did explain I made the wig too small, but I have a little hack for that. I have a little hack, a little hack, a little hack. So I do go in and cut a hole. Now, I feel like I definitely needed more than one hole, but I really didn't want to cut any holes into it at all, just because the hole allows you to have a little more stretch in between the tracks or whatever but my braids wasn't as tight so it eventually loosened up or whatever so i am done with that part hey hey we done now we can get into styling our hair with it making it blend all together so i'm going in with my good behavior um heat protectant and keratin spray I love this spray. I use this on all my clients' leave outs and it does great. I go in with my electric hot comb and just make sure I'm really straightening my hair. This is only a small portion of hair, so it's not much uh, for me. My hair flat irons really easily, always has, always will, so I don't need much heat. You know, you may need the stove, you know, who knows? Obviously, I'm a babyless girl. I have all their products or all their tools. Um, So, this is what my leave out looks like now. Let's do the other side. Boom, done. So, let's get into these wand curls. I'm going to be wand curling exactly how I did on the head. But now I'm going to be saturating everything with the got to be spray. And just touching up my wand curls. I felt like wand curling on the head would be definitely better than wand curling on my head because who's going to be doing all that? That just sounds like arms hurting real too bad. So I just decided to do it on the head and touch up the leave out on my head. 
don't mind my squinting. I can't really see that good without my glasses. But as you can see, I'm wrapping and twirling. Those curls are so perfect, y'all. Tell me these curls aren't eating. They're so perfect. So I did go ahead and put on my glasses for this part. When I got to the top, I took smaller sections to make sure that the curls would just blend, be cute, and everything. Just because how the hair has to fall also. And I wanted to make sure I started to train the hair in the way I wanted it to go. Which I did already do that when I had the wig on the head. But just further along doing it wise on my head. I took very small pieces until I got all the way to the top and finished this is a style you definitely have to play with for at least the first two days to get it to lay how you really want it to lay and get a chance to give the tracks a chance to get adjusted and everything because you the way that you lay them they are going to be stiff the first two days you know what i'm saying it's going to be stiff and tight so here i am just perfecting whatever I feel I need to and just playing with it getting it all coordinated and things like that and it's so cute now let's do these baby hairs y'all let's do these baby hairs I'm going to be using something that I never normally use but I love it somebody did this on me before and can y'all guess what I'm about to use no it's not got to be spray and no, it's not spritz. And no, it's not edge control. Definitely not edge control. No. So, once I curl it, I'm going to be using this product. It might not even be that special to y'all. Y'all probably already do this. Do y'all do this or not? Yes, I use the slick stick to slick my edges back somebody did this on me and i loved it now i couldn't do it exactly like her but it's definitely it's definitely certified edges like my edges mold so easy using the um slick stick and just holding this race with the holding it in place with the holding spray using a um if I used a blow dryer, it probably would have been better, but I just allowed it to, like, air dry and, like, form. But I just continue to do that and form my edges how I want them to be. I like my edges to be, like, soft. So, the next day, I'll be able to redo this again and again and again. I don't like my edges hard. I don't like using got to be gel or anything like that on my edges i like my edges to be soft and manageable for the next day so like i said this style does require cry require you well i can't talk today y'all this style requires you to play with it a little bit but overall i think this is super cute y'all isn't this so pretty just just go ahead cover that track up girl just you know just get, just cover it up with your hair some type of way so i did go in with some shine spray and boom so i'm excited let's get into these different styles that we can do with this versatile I'm just feeling myself a whole lot. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, so for style number one, we're going to do the classic half up, half down. You know, classic. And here it is. This is it. Very messy. Not too tied down at all. Like I said, this is very fresh. So... Needs a couple days or a day to just form into the style so it can be flatter and neater. But I took that ponytail out and look at how it looks. Like, I love this look, y'all. Like, 
I should have did the other side at this point. But as you can see, I can flip it over to whichever side I want. This is the classic ponytail. If I would have had my hair out in the back, y'all, this would have ate so bad. It would have been given so in. But little do they know, like, I could just switch this out. Like, y'all, it's given so in. Look at that. I put on a headband. I can go work out. Like, what? Yeah, I was feeling this a little too much. Yeah, it was given. Still eight. So let's get into the bangs. The bangs. Let's get into a bangang style. So I'm just going to put this hair up into a ponytail and formulate some type of bang. Um, this is definitely not a look to me, but you know, you can have a bang in a ponytail. It may can be something later. But I'm going to make a bun. So I just randomly wrap it around some type of way. Not neat at all. Just really playing with it to see what we can do. How we can do. Because this hair was um like 22 inches. So it wasn't really long at all. But I mean long. But you know not that long. Not to me. But yes, it's giving up due. Okay, pin up. Good pin up. The pin up is eating. Say this pin up not eating. Like, you know, like messy. Oh, I'm just going to dinner. Like, what? Get into it, y'all. This is the last style that I try. I absolutely love this wig. I only wore it for like two weeks, though. But I wanted to put it back in my head. And I was able to wear it curly, too. So this style has a lot of diversity to it. You could do multiple different things with this. And I hope that y'all try this. Please let me know if y'all going to try this, if y'all going to do this. I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning into my videos and watching me and supporting me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all in the next vid. Bye. Mwah.